Good evening and welcome. I'm Vincent Makori. This is Africa 54. We begin in Burundi where gunmen have shot dead an opposition official in the capital Bujumbura. Witnesses say they heard gunshots in the capital's uh, Senyi district on Monday evening and then found Patrice Gahungu, a spokesman for the opposition UPD uh, Zagimbimana a party, uh, dead in his car. A police officer said he was shot near his home, the latest in a spate of killings after the disputed re-election of President Pierre Nkuru Nziza. Burundi was plunged into a political crisis in late April when Nkuru Nziza announced he would seek a third term, which opponents at Western powers said violated a peace deal that ended an ethnically charged civil war in 2005. Protests in April and June left dozens dead and prompted tens of thousands of people to flee the country. Kurunziza was sworn in on August the 20th for another five-year term. His party won a sweeping victory in a parliamentary vote. Now, for some perspective on the political and security situation in Burundi, Atanas Gahungu, Professor Chicago State University, joins me live via phone from Illinois. Professor, welcome to Africa 54. Oh, thank you. Thank you for welcoming me. Now, as we mentioned, there have been a number of other killings uh, in the last few months. There was one in uh, April, uh, in May and in August, too. Uh, what are we to read into this? Uh, it's, um, uh, it's difficult to have a clear read into this because uh, the, um, I, I think, yes, indeed, there is brutality from the government, but there is also as much brutality from the, uh, the opposition. I think it's sad that the opposition would also think that the only way to bring back peace to Burundi is through uh, armed violence. Uh, so uh, uh, it's not whenever we have those killings, it's, those are killings of Burundians. Those are killings of probably innocent people. Those are killings of the people we need, that Burundi needs to be able to move on. So uh, now, there is, uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Is that, would you say this are kind of revenge killings where uh, somebody, maybe an individual within a party decides to target the person on the other side because one of theirs was killed? I think, to me, those are revenges. Uh, I think there is no other way of characterizing that. Uh, and I do believe that Burundi, lives, I mean, Burundi is resituated in, uh, uh, in an area that, uh, for security reasons, that's very difficult to control. You have, all of a sudden, whenever you have, uh, uh, we have a conflict, whether they are political, whether they are social, you have, at uh, one time, you have uh, people, we, we cross the border to go to either Tanzania, to Congo, or to Rwanda, and all of a sudden, you have, they say, you have a uh, similar shift. You have a peace in Burundi, then Rwandans are going to come to Burundi, then the Congolese are going to come to Burundi. And mm -hmm. when things change, you have the reverse. Now we have Burundians going to Rwanda, going to Tanzania, going even as far as uh, Kenya and the Congo. So all of that, in terms of security, that's very difficult to manage. Now, talking about security, uh, since uh, the elections are over, President Nkurunziza has been sworn in. Uh, would you say that Burundi is getting peaceful, or are there still concerns about security in that country? Uh, you know, I would be lying or too naive to say that I would, it's getting more peaceful. Uh, that's a further from the, from the truth. At the same time, I think I would hope that there are, you know, there are people who are trying to bring people to the table to try to make sense out of what's going on. Because to me, the uh, real issue to me is uh, the whole question of uh, the constitution of Burundi or even okay. the Arusha Accord. Thank to you. get a reading that's going to assure that when the people okay. go to the polls and uh, vote for a president, that we can count those 60% okay. or more as being legitimate. Thank you and, very much, uh, yes, Professor. Please. Okay. Professor Gahungu, thank you. We'll continue this conversation another time. Atanas Gahungu is a professor at Chicago State University.